I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Queen of Wands paired with the Five of Cups. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire type of energy. Could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. When not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work, career. Queen is very positive, uplifting energy. And when she stands for an actual woman or a person in your life, she's a good friend who's solidly on your side. Even though she can seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, if you're trying to conceive, the Queen of Wands is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could have found yourself asking, what were you going to choose to focus on? Could have been that the implication was very was very clear. For example, maybe you asked yourself, what are you going to put your focus towards? Crying over spilt milk or focusing on the milk that you still have? The point is that um, you would probably need it to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus was for your highest good. So the recent past energy between you and a person, Queen of Wands, clarified by this five, five of Cups. So I'm getting a uh, cancer that you were very, very determined about this connection, maybe about your person. Um, very confident that you knew it would work or you really wanted it to work. Um, but there was some disappointment. Something happened. And you try to you try to maybe balance out your your thinking or your thoughts and try to you try to focus on the positive instead of the negative. But there was some disappointment. Yeah. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Cut the Six of Pentacles ends with the Three of Wands. Now, Six of Pentacles can be a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time. But a whole complete cycle. The Six of Pentacles can be a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, it's with this Three of Wands, you can find that your finances are going better when you get the Three of Wands. It could feel like it's a time that your ship has finally arrived so you'll be feeling very strong with a good reason you could finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty three of wands refers to work or personally in a very positive way even if you don't work outside the home it means that your efforts are seen appreciated and are well respected So coming up for you and your person, Six of Pentacles, clarified by this Three of Wands. So yeah, I'm getting that for a lot of you, your person. Um, yeah, they realize that you put a lot of effort into this connection. And they, they see that you're, you've been disappointed about some things that have been taking place. Or maybe some things that they did or said. And so they start to turn around for the better, like the Six of Pentacles does. And they might start doing nice things for you, 
maybe buying you nice gifts, being very generous, just to show you that they really do appreciate you. And it's going to feel great. You're going to start to be like this Three of Wands. You're going to be looking ahead. It's going to feel like the connection is it's growing. Yeah, so you've made a decision. You're no longer trying to figure out, do you focus on the positive or the negative, like you were in the recent past. But with the Three of Wands, you've made a decision. You're going forward. So you're looking ahead with this person. And there is expansion and there is growth. You're going forward. And your person is, they're turning around for the better. Also being very generous to you. So that's always a plus. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got the Hermit. And it's with the King of Wands. Now, the Hermit can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It can be like a strength card. You could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. It can also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing, but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now it's with this King of Wands which can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but it could go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is positive. Even when he does not represent an actual individual in your life it can signify that you could have a lot of men around you who are supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So your challenge, Hermit, clarified by this King of Wands. So it looks like you might feel like just going in Hermit mode, just to clear your mind from that recent past energy of disappointment just to cleanse or maybe just to get rid of some baggage that you might still be feeling is weighing you down and what you realize from time from having time alone is that you you really care a lot about your person yeah you, you really, you're realizing that your emotions, they're in it. There, yeah. You realize that you care more about this person than you realize. So, we move on over and we find out what the outcome is going to be. We got the Knight of Cups and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Cups, like most of all the Cups, in the deck is an optimistic good card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. Usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Knight of Cups tells you that things are going well. You'll be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card is about good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. It's headed your way soon. Now it's with the Eight of Pentacles which points to necessary efforts. You've got a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important and admired, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive, so be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period, and this doesn't have to be negative, but you must be prepared for it. So your outcome, Knight of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, things are looking good. Uh, I mean, like, like I said, your person, they're, they're turning around for the better with the Six of Pentacles here. You're no longer trying to um, feel better about what you were disappointed about. Your person, they made things right with you 
and you could feel their love. It feels good. You feel like your ship has finally arrived. Things have turned around for the better. Both of you are going forward with growth and expansion. You take some time alone to clear your mind and to refocus your energy in a very positive way. You realize that you care more about this person than you knew, than you thought. And so your person, they come rushing in like the Knight of Cups does, being very romantic and sensitive. Yeah, and, and they're showing you that they're willing to work really, really hard on this connection with you. That's what the Eight of Pentacles does. It put in a lot of energy and effort. Yeah, so they rush in and maybe try to sweep you off your feet. Knight of Cups is romantic and sensitive, very positive. And so with the Eight of Pentacles, you also get a lot of passion, motivation, and being inspired. So the outcome is beautiful. Your person really wants to work on this. And like I said, they're fixing whatever they, they did wrong. Being generous, buying you nice things. And as a lady, we all know that we like that, right? Yeah. So, Cancer, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope they resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen to the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the rules can be switched. They can be reversed. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a, a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. I do want to say happy Thanksgiving and take care.